Welcome to Camus Classics. Today we're going to be working on the Oldsmobile, but not really working on the Oldsmobile. So what we've got is we got some of the things we got done. Uh, as we said, we had to hurry and get some things done before it went to the upholstery shop. Um, but we're going to do the upholstery on the interior. But as you can see, the top is kind of dull um, because we didn't clear it and everything because this car, we always plan to put a vinyl top on it. Um, so we just wanted to do some protection for it, but put the vinyl top on. So we didn't need to clear it and get it all perfect for that. Um, so we're getting ready to take it to Brent's Custom Upholstery in Heber City, Utah. Um, we're going to hook on the trailer, get the Firebird out. Um, maybe ask when I have my hand. This is what's called a soft shackle. They use them a lot in the four-wheel drive off-road community. Basically what it is is you have this, you pull this through, you loop the ball in through, pull it tight, and then that gives you something to connect your winch cable to. Uh, so I already put one on the car so we're ready. And uh, let me get in the Silverado and we will get hooked on the trailer and we'll come back as we get ready to move this and put it in the trailer. Okay, so we got hooked on the trailer. You'll notice, we've got the Firebird in the shop now. Um, that's because we just unloaded it from the trailer, so we need a place to put it. Um, but I did want to show you this. So we have been working on it a little bit. Uh, we got the wiring. Uh, engine compartment forward is done. Um, for the most part, we still got to do some underneath the starter, basically. Um, but everything else should be wired up, ready to go. Um, it's looking pretty good, I think. Uh, we did get the radiator and fan shroud in. And uh, we still we do still have the marker lights, turn signal lights, because they go in the bumper and we haven't put the bumpers on yet. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and slide this to the side. Then we can put our trailer here, run our winch out, hook on and pull it in um, because we don't have a drive line yet. And it's not all the way wired yet, so it's not running. Uh, but we will get it slid over and when we're ready to pull it in the trailer, we'll come back to you. Okay, so we're getting ready to load it in the trailer. We've got our winch hooked up. Dad's in the car. He's going to kind of hold the brakes. Um, it rolls, so it's going to come in pretty easily. Um, but we'll go ahead and get winching it. Okay, that has us in the trailer. Uh, Dad will have to stay in there while I get it hooked up. I'll get it unhooked from the winch here. I'll get the back ones on because it's going to want to roll forward because we are on, our, are on a little bit of a slant. So we'll get it strapped down. We'll come back to you when we take it to the upholstery shop and give you a little bit of a tour on the way there and then we'll um, show it to you and then we'll follow up with when it's done. We're headed to pick up the Oldsmobile 442 with the new top, vinyl top. Uh, 
We got Dad with us. Hi. Jenna. Hello. And we're gonna go pick, get it picked up and we can get working on it again. It's been gone for a little while, so we wanna get it done. But we'll, I'll hand you off to Jenna to show you a little bit of uh, our drive. Welcome back. We're home with the Oldsmobile 442. The nice final top roof is on it. Let me go ahead and show you that. So Looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with the quality. I mean, it's a pretty good job. Um, there's still some trim and stuff we got to put on, windows put in, um, to finish that project off. Uh, but we'll get to it here shortly. Uh, we're happy to have the car back so we can get working on it again. Um, the goal is to have this one done this year, so we better get busy. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe.